Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. So the overall energy coming into the reading is Romantic Gesture, the Knight of Cups, Eight of Coins, Virgo Energy. We have Pisces, Virgo, and the Two of Wands, which is Aries Energy. So it's about making a decision on what you're going to invest in in this relationship with a romantic offer coming in. So the mutual energy between you and a love interest in the recent past has been about building a future together. Sagittarius, this is Virgo energy. It's about Monday through Sunday. It's about your long-term goals. It's about building a legacy, being loyal, being on the same page in terms of what you want to do to work and, and make this beautiful life together. Children, all of the good things in life is what the two of you are thinking about. The Knight of Pentacles slowly moving forward, advancing your, um, your ability to create a relationship. Uh, it's very much about being willing to do the work. So you have a lot of Virgo energy, 8, uh, 10, and the Knight. The Hanged Man is Pisces energy. It's very dreamy. This person, you know, your significant other looks as though they're not quite sure what the path forward is. They're keeping an open mind, and it looks as though your person very much wants to look at things from your perspective. So when we look at how they view you, they view you as a person. Rosie's joining us right here in Crete. Okay, so you can see her little face and nose. So we see the temperance card right here, which represents you and how they view you, which is Sagittarius energy. There you are in the reading. Very very mild-mannered, very caring, very deeply attached to the outcome being one that is for the good of the all, good for everybody. Your person in their heart space, again, a lot of Pisces energy here. Two Pisces cards. The person, your person in their heart space is feeling very vulnerable. The moon card is when we don't feel confident over our emotions. Your person feels as though they're underwater here. They feel very much like they want to and expect to throw caution to the winds. But your person is not sure that you really want them the way that they would like to have you. Um, again, you know, they're willing to do the work, but it's an interesting energy because it really speaks to the fact that, you know, they feel as though they're not really fully capable in the way you are, Sag. So when we look at the hidden energy between the two of you, the star card, the star card, you know, we see this beautiful love relationship, highly spiritual, highly, um, the, they, you see one another as a rock star of your life. And so when I get this energy, it's beautiful inside, it's beautiful outside. It's a love relationship that is Aquarius born, very enlightened, very beautiful. Spirit is recommending that you love each other very deeply. You both have been through storms in your life. This is Scorpio energy and Spirit is saying that whatever the problems, whatever the challenges are, you will be able to overcome them. At the end of the reading, we have, you know, when we look at the future, the outcome is the Two of Swords, you know, a, a lack of communication, a lack of awareness. And this is only one person. It's almost like your person is afraid to see the truth of the matter in a situation. So I'm going to go ahead and clarify that, these. The extended link is in the description box below or in the, in the comments. And I do have a $2 off special on the extended readings. The extended and all of the readings will cover just your person and, for instance, what they're so confused about, their thoughts, their feelings, and their intentions with you, as well as their actions. So it's a very detailed reading. So let's see what we have here for clarifiers. Why is the Ten of Coins here? Well, there's a King of Coins, so that's a Taurus energy. So there's some really good Earth sign energy here. We have your person wants to have fun with you. 
they feel as though it's all work and no play sometimes, so that's part of what's going on. They understand and they want the same things as you, but they are a little bit more frivolous than you is what I would say. They like to have fun or they feel as though fun every single day is important. Your person is offering you a cup of love, Pisces energy again. So what we see is your person feels as though there may be an age difference between the two of you. There may be a maturity difference between the two of you. It also could indicate that your person has a child and that they have, you know, concerns about how that would fit into a long-term committed relationship. They watch you on social media. They know what's in your refrigerator, Sag. So your person is watching you very carefully. This person's coming in with emperor energy. They want to make a very clear-cut decision. And so when we get the, the emperor clarifying the moon card, it really speaks to the fact that your person wants to take a leadership role in this relationship. When they throw caution to the winds, the star card is here. Wonderful. So your person really wants to go for it. The star card with the page of wands is really, you know, actually just saying, let's do it. Let's go for it. Let's have this hopes and dreams for love coming true is the meaning of this energy. And your person sees you as the most beautiful person they've ever dealt with. They see this as a relationship that has been more combination spiritual physical emotional they feel as though this is the high high spot the highlight of their life they've never had a relationship like they have with you sag so this is aquarius energy once again very enlightened the star card is a spiritual beauty inner beauty and hopes and dreams for love coming true there we go we have the knight of cups again so again you know, the two of you are going to really woo each other, romance each other, enjoy each other. And what do we have for the Scorpio King? Okay, so we have Libra Queen or Libra, Libra Energy. So somebody may have to leave a relationship for this one to come into play. There may be a divorce that needs to be finished. It looks as though for the time being, the relationship can't move forward very effectively because there is some sort of legal situation um, situation about life that has to be taken care of at which point the two of you will move forward very rapidly into the future together so the cards that fell out here also are the ten of cups happily ever after and manifesting one another so this is really very, very beautiful energy for you, Sagittarius, because it speaks very much to someone who has maybe a complicated life, things that they may not have even shared with you, but they want to throw caution to the winds and they want this relationship with you and they have every intention of having it. So this is the energy that speaks to a wonderful future together. The Ten of Coins is a legacy, wealthy, you know, harmonious relationship in which you have solid financial security and happily ever after. Very Neptunian again, very Piscean. It's all about the pure joy of having a life together. The Magician card is again, strong Virgo. Now this is Gemini and Virgo energy. Um, but very much the two of you can figure out whatever you have to there is nothing missing in this relationship at all the two of you have all the tools to have the happiness to move forward rapidly to create a really lifelong partnership that would be hopes and dreams for love coming true for both of you so I'm going to go to the extended hope to see you there and if not I hope to see you in another reading Cindy you love from Chicago send some back and tell me where you're from thank you